Hello friends, let's now understand the key challenges that are faced in financing the projects. Understanding these challenges will help us overcome those challenges by taking care of those things in advance. Fundamentally, the exercise which is done in order to appraise the project using financial techniques is called capital budgeting exercise. So project financing decisions are synonymous with something called capital budgeting. The budgeting operations that are undertaken for routine day-to-day -day activities of the business are called a cash budgeting exercise. Capital budgeting exercise involves decisions that are related to long-term investment and to company's future. By its very nature, therefore, some of the key challenges are involved in undertaking project financing. The number one challenge is around selling the investment story to the top management. If you want to undertake any project, you will have to make a business case and convince the top management that they should invest in that particular project. Because by very definition, projects are activities that are undertaken today or in some time. The budgets or the resources are spent today, but the benefits occur typically over a long period of time. Hence, they need to be very strongly justified. So building the story out using a business case and presenting the case to the top management is one of the very important skills if you want to undertake a project and successfully get the budget for spend that on that particular project. You also have to build confidence with all the stakeholders including the management regarding how you will be able to successfully manage the risks that are required in undertaking that particular project. For example, if you want to build let's say a payroll system for your employees, that system will involve development will involve definitely some kind of risk. Your vendors might live in between your key resources who are going to give business requirements might live or you may not be able to develop the APIs properly for interfaces like the banking system interfaces. All these risks are normal in almost all you know project activities but you need to convince the management that you will be able to manage all those risks very very well. Third challenge involved in convincing the management and other stakeholders is how have you arrived at the discounting rate? or the internal rate of return when you want to obtain the financing and convince that you know overall the project is going to give a good return on investment for the organization. Estimating discounting rate is by itself a challenge. For example, discounting rate could be taken as the cost of capital of the company, uh, could be taken as the rate at which you are going to do the borrowing and so on and so forth. Also, each project involves different level of risk. So should you adjust the cost of capital for the higher or lower level of risk, you need to estimate that and also convince to the other stakeholders why you have arrived at that discounting rate using a particular methodology. Fourth challenge is you have to arrange the capital or the financing for the project by taking care of certain things. Like it should be as low cost financing as possible. As we know, equity as a financing option is most costly because equity shareholders having undertaken a lot of risk expect higher level of return. The debt financing, if you are going to go for that, how you look at the financing which is a low cost debt. Also the financing should be having certain degree of flexibility. For example, if you are going to issue bonds, let's say for 7 years, can you repay those bonds earlier if the project cash flow start you know, working well in time. So maybe you want to have a call option in the bond, in which case you'll have to convince the investors why they should invest. So you might have to give them put option as well. Also the risk that is involved in the finance should be manageable. For example, if you want to undertake breach finance because you expect let's say funds to come from public issue letter, then you have to convince the banks why they should be giving you breach finance and how they should be sure that the public issue will successfully happen. Every project will have possibly an adverse impact on the short term profitability because you are going to invest funds, the profitability and cash flows are going to happen over a long term period. So you will have to sacrifice some of the short term considerations in order to undertake a project and you need to convince the stakeholders that you know, it is still something that they should go ahead with. 
you have to define the criteria for abandoning the project because you know, when most projects are started people don't sort of decide when they are going to abandon the project in case it is required it is one thing being optimistic but you know he needs to, to be accountable you have to be accountable to people so you will define saying that you know if next one year this is not achieved then we will abandon the project the investment is sunk and gone right so very difficult exercise but you should define those criteria up front otherwise the project will go on endlessly and you will throw your good money after bad money last important challenge is convincing all the investors maybe bond investors equity uh, you know uh, investors and also the external partners maybe execution partners who are going to undertake that project for example if you to uh, you know uh, undertake road building if government is uh, building a road in public private partnership mode now there are various companies that will build for that but they need to be sure of few things that the land acquisition will happen in time there will be provided necessary security and infrastructure to the road construction and you know so on and so forth so they also have to be the execution partners have to be also assured that the necessary resources are there and necessary commitment is there from the sponsor so these are some of the challenges that are involved in the project financing exercise and these are unique these are not the normal challenges involved in the day to day operations of the company or an organization understanding these will help you understand the peculiarities of project project financing project management and you know what skills are required if you want to execute the project and arrange the finances for the project successfully hope you found this video useful and interesting if yes please do like this video share with your friends also subscribe to my channel thank you very much cheers